Jake, does Novgorod have cores? Mm, no, not even on Novgorod. Tragic situation for them, really. Ha, huh, Russia doesn't look so scary anymore since it doesn't have its big name. Oh, no, let's not do that. Let's instead declare war on them straight away before they get any fresh new alliances. Uh, we don't have to worry about the stability drop because we'll get some of it back right there. And let's pay down... Mm, yeah, all of that war exhaustion. Because what is Diplo Point anyway? Oh, supply limit bonus. Great. That allows me to chew on far less attrition. May as well get that tax assessor going. I reckon... Diego Garcia is a brilliant place to assess our... Oh no, they've already got our Admiralty. Let's not spoil them. Hmm. Mahe. Oh no, I forgot that, uh, that building. Although it doesn't say... Where is it? Macro building tax assessor. Although it doesn't say anything about it, you can only put it on either your capital or a province that has 10 or more base tax. So I could put it here, here, here. It's funny that it doesn't say that anymore. There's got 10 base tax as well. Well, might as well assess things in the capital. There we go. Sunni Zealots rising up in Sunni Korzan, of course. Jake, giving provinces to your vassals might be a problem with your monthly gain. Nah, I'll be fine. I'm still making two a month. Straight away we lost the Grand Battle of the Northern Baltic Sea. But who cares? Who's keeping score? As expected, was not given occupied cores and claims in the peace deal. Minus quite a lot. Well, too bad. There we go, that should do for a slight bit of carpeting around here. Hopefully Korea will pick up the slack and take Haixi, so I can give it to them in this peace deal. At their cost, rather than mine. And yeah, we should begin carpeting these guys up. Those peasants may run into me and obliterate some of my troops. That's not a big concern for me. Let's break Russia by the break of day. Also, misclicking like that, what a pain. Be slightly concerned about that stack there. Chase them down and give chase north as well. Jake, why don't you use, you lose dip points monthly due to the number of relations? Well, I'm only just above it. I'm 13 out of 5, so I get minus 8 for that. But uh, I've got a 5 ruler, and I've got a 2. should probably get a 3. Yeah, there we go. Who cares about money? It is just a something-something.
Okay, a bit of a sloppy way to do things. I think that was my really good general that just died. He gets there on the 23rd. I do not. Mostly a desert province. Mm, worth ganging up on him? I think so. Yeah, that made him change his mind. Kill him. Okay. That's a different state of affairs entirely. They must have got no zealots for an event. I can't, uh, I cannot support them. Okay, so just about all of the enemy army is tucked away down here. How should I feel about that? Am I missing a five stack here? There you are. March on Moskva. Rest of you take the slightly less important positions. These European provinces are going to be worth a lot more than any other provinces, so Asia... Carpeting Asia is not such a big deal, although I will need to take those provinces eventually. Let's see how that works out. support rebels in Russia. I suppose it would give me some power projection. Speaking of, what happened to my power projection for taking provinces off of them? Well, no matter. Support those Persians, see what it gives me. No power projection. Oh, I thought I labelled uh, Russia as a rival. In fact, I am all but certain that I did. I mean, I've got the plus two declared war in Russia. Did they get taken away as a rival? Madness. Well, in that case, there's not as much point in bargaining them right now. Jake, Russia is no longer an acceptable rival. They can rival me, though. Paradox! Alright, good. We got the mountains. We got the stability. We got the Yayo. Enforcements. And the dice rolls, but come on, let's show them how it works. Nice. Also nice. Jake, Russia is only a viable ri rival because they rivaled you, which should allow you to rival them, but it is bugged in 1.7. Oh, thank you. And yeah, I didn't update my game, so if they fixed that, then I uh, I wasn't around for that fix. My bad. Alright, we've got them broken. Question is, where are they going to run? Hopefully they don't run through my land. I'd rather keep them uh, 
pegged in this area. Wipe this army completely. Right, they're moving here, but they wouldn't stop there. So I reckon they'll go here because it's further away. Hope they do. Ninth, thirtieth. And now a whole bunch more troops to worry about in terms of reinforcement. But we'll get them over here. To reinforce. Manpower dripping down a wee bit, which is a shame. Okay, where are you going? As I expected. The question is, will you go to Alamuli or will you go to the Mangy Shack? Probably over here. Because it's more provinces away and they do like to run away as far as they can. I miss the days when you could hover over the shattered retreat button and it would tell you where they're going. Oh, they are going to Alamuli. You got me. What are these useless guys doing? They're causing me trouble is what they're doing. The trouble is Russia's got all these little stacks that would uh, mop up any of my siege carpets. I need to take care here. Especially since he's moving over to Caddy, he might be thinking of dealing with my stacks here. Not having forced march can be such a pain sometimes. As in all the times. Let's just keep you there to keep you protected for now. Rebuild mercs, Jake. Thanks for the heads up. I do keep forgetting that. There's only two available, though. So that Russian manpower built up ever so slightly, which is a little frustrating. However, these provinces are now overseas for him, so he gets much less money from them. Uh, he gets less manpower, but Russia has so many manpower bonuses. I mean, the Russian ambition and tradition itself completely overrules the distant overseas uh, malice that he gets. Also, he's... Nah. Cheap piece of garbage. Shattered retreating through my own provinces. Or my vassal's provinces. Bah. Yeah, as I expected, he's moving over here to take care of my little ones. Of course, I did nothing about it because I'm a scrub. A scrub without forced march. That should help with the situation though. Snaking his way around me. I lost sight of his uh, shattered retreating forces, 
Unless that's them. I don't think they were that small. Still. I'll be ready for them. Even if I have to chew tons of attrition just to deal with them. And bait them out with a stack. Ain't your day, Russia. Except when you run away like that. But, that's okay. This should fool you, and there we go. That'll be that stack taken care of. Artillery is hurting me here, but they're just mercenaries. Doesn't cost me manpower, and that's what matters. God. <laughs> There's a Tsar in the Siberian army, Jake. Go for the kill. He's a 2-2-1. Two, two, I'd rather he lived long and prospered. Wow. 7% attrition over here. That ain't good. I haven't occupied any provinces yet, so I can't uh, I can't see what his annexation cost will be, but that will change soon enough. Close the positive sieges button. That might be a good idea. After all, there's going there's too many going on to even be worthwhile. Now, when I do return cores, all the Asian ones are going to be really cheap for Nogay, so I should get those done. Pretty, well, in fact, I should get Nogay done in general. because it's not going to be overextension for me. And that'll be a lot of land chopped away from you. Yeah, I ain't giving anything to Japan. <laughs> not while Hanzo's Defender of the Faith. Again, he runs south after all that. Well, thankfully these troops have replenished. We'll give him no quarter over here. Still, I feel a little uncomfortable just letting him have free reign. Well, that stack won't replenish anymore, so... I'll keep you down here as something of a sideliner. And we'll get you guys moving, because I don't like all these little groups popping up. Even though I've got to chew a ton of attrition to walk through his lands. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Returning these provinces will cost me dip points, so I should get them out of the way. Alternatively, I could put my focus into dip. Oh, even poorer uniforms. This will not stand. All these little battles will get us our show superiority ticking war score. We've won 80%. No one has won enough battles over 80%. Okay. Alright, one province down. The annexation cost of Russia is only 643. Remember previously it was going to be over 700. So, that's good. That's very good. 
fewer wars it takes to crush Russia, the better. Jake, let your vassals occupy their cores themselves. There is no time for that. No time at all. That's pretty cute. That stack will give uh, Novgorod their core back. kind of doing this to stop these troops from having anywhere to run whilst this troops marches around destroying them. And they're just mercenaries so it doesn't overly matter. Oh that 12 stack matters. Where are they going? Somewhere they're not allowed to go. Where in the world are you going? That's a concern. They will uh, they'll rebuild there. Ay ay ay. Never easy taking down the Russian bear. Never easy. Oh, Brandenburg. Thank you kindly. You know just what's needed of you and when. Your artillery will rip them to pieces. Beautiful. Hire Mercs, Jake. Thank you. Although, what are these guys doing attaching to me? Honestly, what are you doing? Go fight. I miss the old logic. The, uh, what are you doing? Go away. Jake, is this going to be a one tag world conquest? At this rate, that's not going to happen anymore, which makes me quite sad. But I guess when you are a scrub lord like me, these kinds of things happen. I had wanted to make a one tag world conquest. I really did. But when I got to Europe, and after all the mix mistakes I had made, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I'm fairly certain it's never going to happen. That's okay. World conquest isn't meant to be easy. Hmm. erect a force here, even though I took all of his money. Still got plenty of manpower, but he must be in debt from raising all these troops, unless he just gets that much dosh. Well, I can find out easily enough. Well, I forced him to take a loan earlier, so there must be more loans involved in that. Just get this peace deal all ready for that. I want these two to go back to Korea, but Korea will take them in on their own accord. Wow. Kazakh is worth that much. Uh, Kazan, rather. I think it is high base tax. Oh, of course. Important centre of trade. They've buffed and buffed that uh, 
that provincial modifier, but they haven't changed how it affects it in the peace deals, so it still makes uh, peace deals incredibly expensive. Well, it only makes them more and more expensive each time they buff it. <sighs> I love the way Russia deals with its uh, revolts. Just waits for them to die from attrition. And boy, do they take attrition. Right, I need these smaller stacks taken care of before they could become a real problem. Now, this little tune that's playing right now is uh, the main theme from Europa Universalis 3. Given the amount of times I've heard it, I thought I would have been sick of it by now, but I am not. Jake, if you played 10 Ryukyu runs a... Oh, okay. Do you think you could get one tag World Conquest in one of them? Yeah, reckon I could. I might have to dig up some real nasty tricks for them. But I'd figure something out. I always do. Also, when I say detach siege, I don't know what makes you think that you need to detach more than that. assist our allies. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Taking land in their own name. Saving me points. Like a good vassal. making me so happy is the way that my manpower is dribbling down. you. Oh, that's right, I brought this stack down in to deal with that 10 stack, but uh, obviously I completely missed how that was going to go. So I went for dinner. Is this the second war? This is indeed the second war. Now I know you're probably going to die soon, but I want to keep you. We'll have our truly divine ruler yet. Oh wow! Didn't I? Uh, didn't I engage you? Well, no matter. Russia can just spring up an army so quickly. Like carpeting him is becoming less and less viable. Still, these are only level 2. And you're only mercs. So, get to work. 